Robert the Arm Vapor here. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the RDNA from Vapor Shark. And here it is. This is the model that they brought out. It's their current release with the Evolve DNA 30 chip in it, where you can remove the battery and replace it. It's user serviceable. Excellent. It takes an 18650. It comes with a battery. And you know, essentially. You know, think of it as this little guy's big brother. <laughs> okay. Right? What's how what's the size comparison? Hold on, let me take a vape, I'll show you. Take off that. So this is the um vapor shark DNA, which has the evolved uh, DNA thirty chip in it. Both these units have the same chipset, but you can see, right? This is the the little baby one. This is big bro, little baby, big bro, and you can see there's quite a difference in size and width, right? So this is the you know, oh, a little baby, um, great little mod. I love this thing. I love it a lot, um. This product has evolved to where it's, you know, it's a really nice stellar, stellar product. Fits nice to hand. 1200 milliamp hour lipo pack in here. Uh, you know, and if it eventually you can't charge anymore, you know, you send it back to Vapor Shark, Shark and for 25 bucks, they'll replace the battery for you. All right. So that's, you know, what we're used to seeing. Now comes the Vapor Shark RDNA. Um, very nice indeed. Bigger plus minus buttons, a, a little bit bigger. You can see the button sizes have certainly changed. All right, button sizes have changed. Very comfortable in the hand. Let me screw on an Addy here. What am I firing at here? It's locked. Let me bump it up to 15, 16 watts. Very clicky. All right, so you get a lot of positive feedback with the unit. So all the functions that you're familiar with, with the Evolve DNA 30 chipset, same thing here in any other Evolve DNA 30 mod. The big difference is this guy, you know, size. So let me take another eight and then I'll get down and maybe a little personal with it. Stellar, stellar. So let me see, let me get this cam going here. And, oh, I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit. How about that? All right. If I just keep it right there. Right there. So you can see on the, there's, there's your button side. There's where the USB port now is on the side, not on the back. It's on the side now. There's the logo. If you can see it halfway decently. Oh, I turned it around. Okay. And here's the side where you can change out the battery. So let me just open this up. You do need a Phillips head screwdriver. All right. So I'll just unscrew this. And then if you look, you see these little hinges here these are like these just kind of like go in it's not really a hinge hinge so here's a little thumb thing that you can use to help pull this back or grab underneath this and just you push this back come on did I loosen this enough let's hope I did oh there we go okay and that just pops off so you can see you got two tabs here 
all right, that go fit into these two tab holes here. And there sits the battery. Oh, 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 let me show you this. It has a little plastic retainer. See, is that plastic? I don't know what that is. I think it's plastic. So you don't have to worry about losing your screw. Isn't that thoughtful? That's really thoughtful. So you can unscrew this out and about, you know, replace a battery if you wanted to out and about. Um, and you know, you're not gonna lose your screw. Don't drop this, but you're not gonna lose your screw. So let's uh, take out the battery. So this is supposed to be a Sony, this is a Sony VCT4. There you go. A, Voni, a Sony VCT4. Good battery. <clears throat> when you do insert it, when, if you do take this out, put a different battery in or you know, whatever, just make sure you do put this in correctly. Because if you don't, you're going to fry your DNA30 chip. So positive to positive. Clearly marked. Clearly marked in there. Uh, there's a minus down below, you can see, and a plus up above. All right. You can clearly see the minus and the plus. If you put your battery in wrong, you're bad. You're bad. Now, I will say, um, one negative. When I received this, this battery was loose in the battery compartment. It wasn't making contact. So if you receive yours and it's not, you're not, what just fell over here? Oh, if you receive yours and uh, it's not turning on, it's not doing anything, you know, and you open this up, it's possible that what you will find is these terminals here are squashed all the way flat for the most part. So you'll have to take a screwdriver or something and gently pry them away from the base until you can take your battery and seat this in nice and snug. All right, see it's powering up? I hope, yes. All right, so just be aware of that. I don't know why that occurred with mine, but that's the way mine arrived. It wouldn't, it wouldn't fire up, wouldn't start because the battery was not making contact. Simple problem to resolve, all right, but just be aware. So that's really, I'm going to take this out again. All right, because I want to show you how uh, starting, uh, here's the original Vapor Shark DNA. Mm, we've all gone on my adventure with this, and I still loved it. The Vapor Shark DNA 30, right? The Vapor Shark DNA, the small little baby, right? Their current little small one and the RNA our DNA why do I say RNA I don't know I'm gonna show you how both the new little baby and big bro how well they're manufactured okay compared to some competition okay let's do this do not do this yourself if you do this you're gonna void your warranty okay just for fair, fair warning, don't do this. I'm going to take off the service cover. Why? Because I can, and I will. I want to show you this. I want to show you how much Vapor Shark has stepped up their manufacturing game, starting with the little bro <laughs> to the big bro. Not this guy, not the old one, not the first first version, but with these guys. All right, let me take off the service cover. And again, so I don't lose it, I'm going to take the, one of these, you know, firing buttons. Well, the plus minus button, because that's just sitting in there. I want you to see how nice and clean that is inside. All right, let me show you on this cam. I want you to see how nice and clean that is inside. What do you not see in here? It's a bunch of epoxy 
and a bunch of hot glue. You don't see that. You don't see it in this model. You don't see it in this model. I could open this up and show you the same exact characteristics. There's no hot glue, no epoxy inside here. Why? Because I took the time to design this so you didn't need it. And also the way they manufacture the casings helped them with that. Why? Because this is not billet aluminum, such as, like the Hanna, all right? Such as the Clapor 30 watt box mods, such as all kinds of these 30 watt box mods, which are made out of, I guess, billet aluminum. Because for them to do the same thing that VaporShock has done, by doing their casing in, I believe it's a zinc, alumina, uh, a zinc alumina alloy, it would take them too much time to mill that out of a billet aluminum block, therefore driving your cost up, all right? So what they do, they, they're able to cast these things with all these little grooves and doodads and things of that nature, so that when all these pieces fit together, they all reinforce each other and hold everything rigidly in place. Listen to this. All right, what you're hearing there is a little play in the in the the up one of the in in the up down buttons, okay, to adjust your 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 wattage. But those aren't coming out, you know. So that you don't see this thing gobbed with epoxy and hot glue, unlike. Some of these box mods, like the Hanna or the Clapor. Now, my clip, I'm sorry, Vapor Shark, for chiming in on your time, but I'm trying to make a point here. Uh, here is the Clapor 30 watt box mod. And now it fires up if I put a battery in it. Okay, I'll show that. I'll prove that to you. Plus, minus. Okay, chipset. Everything's running. All right. But what this won't do anymore, for some reason, is read any Addy I put on it. It refuses to recognize any Addy. So there must have been some sort of problem going on with the 510 connection, right? So I open it up, take off the smoke covered, right? And it looks really nice and clean now because I spent, I don't know how much time, dig carefully, very carefully, digging out the hot glue and the epoxy all through here so I could get in here to start working on it. I didn't move, remove the hot glue and the epoxy down in here. Okay, so you can see what I'm talking about with hot glue and epoxy. This is epoxy down in here. This is hot glue. The button here, okay, on the clipboard is still, uh, you know, epoxy to the point. All right, but... VaporShock has designed and engineered theirs to be serviceable. If you have a problem with their unit, you can send it back to them. They can fix it because they can get at the components. <laughs> Very smart. Very smart. A company that stands by the product and makes your product so that it is serviceable. All right, so I'm putting the, the fire, you know, one of the um, wattage buttons there. Take the service cover, gonna place it in place, and there's no wiggling around, it just goes right in place. Right in place. All right. So I was when I opened this up, well I opened up the you know the other one too at one point in time, and I'm seeing, wow, that's nice. All right. That's the difference between a company taking the time to do the engineering and getting it done right, rather than jamming all the components in, in place and using a bunch of epoxy and hot glue. All right, so, and even Hannah uses hot glue. All right, so, and there's a mod that's more expensive than this mod here, which, you know, I'll get into pricing in a bit. All right. So it's, it's that simple. Put in your battery. Hopefully I was paying attention. Okay. <laughs> oh no. No, I didn't fry it. You take these tabs, you catch them in the tab, um, in the corresponding place on the edge. 
moves forward and then you just start screwing this down boom there you go what a piece of cake very well engineered I need a vape I do I need a vape So anytime, you know, if, if you feel the need that, oh, I want to continue, the battery's drained, won't fire anymore, I need to charge it, and you don't want to wait around for it to charge, you could easily open this up, take the cover off, replace your battery, put the cover back on. If that's how you want to do it, knock your socks off. Very easy to do. All right? So, so that's the major advantage of the RDNA over its little brother. Much higher battery capacity because now you have an 18650. All right. <clears throat> now, what else is there to say about this? Really nice clicky buttons. nice uh the led ring around it lights up not the entire button like the little bro okay this edition of the little bro <laughs> i call it little bro <laughs> uh big bro now has a usb on the side um for you people with ocd or any other kind of affliction here all right the nature of the beast be the plus and minus wattage adjustment buttons have a slight rattle to them. I personally do not notice it while I'm holding my hand using it, whatever. Okay, I just want to make you aware that if if you are, if that's going to wig you out, be aware. All right. So, they also sent me along this wireless charger. This is the um, the wireless charger base. Uh, okay, how much does that go for? Um, let me see. Da, 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 da. The wireless charger base is $24.99. All right, by the way, the RDNA is $189.99. So this is $189.99. The charging base, if you want to go wireless, is $24.99. And the wireless card that goes gets attached to your RDNA, or they do have one that goes onto the DNA, um, they are $19.99 a piece. So make sure you get the correct one, all right? If you're gonna do this. This also comes with an extender cord so that because this is rather short so I am going to take the extender cord da, 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 da. I'm going to plug it into my unit here all right I'm going to plug well I might as well put this right in place right I'm going to plug uh, da, 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 like this right and you see there's a red LED that lights up okay now, let me. So how do you how do you, how do you get this thing working? Well, first of all, you you gotta have a shark skin. All right, I got purple for big bro, and I got orange for little bro. All right, you gotta have a shark skin. Sorry, you just gotta have it. You don't like it? Too bad. So let me show you how this is done. Uh, first, I got to get the shark skin on the, you know, vapor shark. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's see. How do I go about this? It, I'm sure there's tons of ways to get this done, but let me just jam this thing in here. <laughs> Alrighty. I probably should lock it. Well, I don't care. What's it going to do? It can't fire. I don't have anything on it. Right? Oh, and these things feel really nice. I like the way they feel. Okay, 
So that wasn't hard, right? So I got my vapor, vapor shark on there. This is the first time putting the vapor shark on here, all right? Have not done what you're seeing me doing before. All right, this is a real world example of somebody having to do this for the first time. Now, here is your little radio receiver. All right, be careful with this. Now they do have a little sticky pad here. Um, I'm not gonna mess with that right now. So what they, here's how they suggest you get this installed. Suggest, this is how they tell you to install it. You peel back your vapor shark like halfway. So let me see if I can get this on camera. Okay, so you peel back your vapor shark like halfway. Oh, that was pretty easy. Right? So I'm denuding the vapor shark. All right, whatever. Right? Now, be careful with this. And they want you to slip it underneath your skin and just keep going while it gets underneath there. Nice and gentle. It, it actually is sliding quite easily underneath the skin. Right, get it to the point where we can make that connection with the USB. All right, my connection's made. All right, make sure this is nice and even. Okay, that's fitting just fine. All right. And then fold down your skin. <laughs> I can make all kinds of jokes, but I won't. And, and there we have it. That was rather easy. I'm impressed. All right. Focus, focus, focus. So there you have it. I've got my wire, re my receiver attached to my vapor shark. Here's the base. How do you charge it? Like this. All right. Okay, you got to place it on the base. You got to like get it in the middle. All right, get it in the middle. And that little LED starts flashing green. What you may not be able to see, let me see if I can pick this up. All right. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, you see the LED light around the around the uh, fire button, it changes to red. So that will be red while it's charging. This thing will be blinking. Uh, okay, see it's blinking. In the beginning, I see that the, the fire button will blink, not really, you know, occasionally blink red. Then it stays red. <coughs> when this thing is fully charged, this goes green. Yeah, green. I'm pretty sure it goes green. It's not red, okay? So look for it not to be red. But that's all you do. You take that, you put it on the friggin' charge base. Right now you see it's, it's red, the little LED's red. I place this on the charge base. You get it centered on there. Blinky green. When your fire button goes, you know, changes from red to, I, if I remember, I think it was green. <laughs> okay. Because I tested this without using the vapor shark. Because I had to order the vapor shark. I, I tested it without having the shark skin. All right. Had to wait for the shark skin to come in. That's So you actually saw me install it the first time. Before I just laid it on there and put it on the base to see how the charging mechanism worked and how long it took. How long does it take? How long does it take? Oh my God. Um, for a fully depleted unit with uh, this battery that it, it comes with the uh, Sony VCT4 in it, it took three and a half, uh, three and a half to three hours and 45 minutes to charge. Certainly no more than four, all right? 
So that's what you can expect. Somewhere between three and a half hours to four hours to charge a fully depleted battery where the chip won't fire anything anymore. All right. Really kind of, this is nice. I like the feel of this. I do. You know, so here it is. I need a vape. This is the first time I'm vaping it with the skin on it. And their skin's come in all kinds of colors. You can go to the website and check them out. But I know there's black, there's orange. There's, I, well, hell, here you go. I'll find out. Let's find out what the color of the shark skins are. Accessories. Uh, DNA. Oh, on the shark skins, by the way, are seven dollars and ninety nine cents a piece. Just so you know, and make sure you order the right one. All right, two different sizes for two different types of vapor sharks. So let's see what colors do we have here: black, blue, green, gray, orange, pink, purple, red, teal, white. Whatever floats your fancy. Hmm. Very nice indeed. Hey, what the heck? I got this one. I might as well stick it on the uh, little bro. Let me go stick it on the little bro. Right? Uh, hello, little bro. Here we go. Whoops. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. I go in from the top. Come on. Big Brother wasn't this problem. Okay. Grab and pull. Grab and pull. Work it over. I mean, these things are very flexible. You can really... I mean, you'd have to be a freaking gorilla to, I think, rip one of these things. Come on. <laughs> yeah, now we're going. Now we're getting there. Uh, uh. Probably would have been easier to go from the bottom up. All right, that's there. Boy, oh boy. Not something you want to put on and take off too often. All right. Arr, arr, arr. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there. Wow. Oh, there we go. There we go. There it is in orange. All right, so a little too far up there. Get it adjusted right. Pulled it up a little bit too much. All right, that looks good. So there you go. So yes, um, another stellar product put out by Vapor Shark, the RDNA, um, and the wireless charging kit comes in two parts. Remember, um, also works really well. We'll make it really convenient to just go ahead and plop this down and you know let it charge. So what do I think? If you're looking for a replace a, a, a DNA 30 an evolve DNA 30 <clears throat> box mod that allows you to a user serviceable battery that you can replace yourself this is like a no-brainer 
It's a no-brainer. Superb man, uh, manufacturing. Uh, manufacturing and designed and engineered for serviceability. You saw that. Um, not like these guys. So, and cheaper than the HANA. Cheaper than, um, I don't know, $189.99? I think it's a fair price for this. And of course, you always have... Where'd he go? Oh, right here. The little bro, the Vapor Shark DNA, with, um, you know, disappeared, gone. Where'd it go? I don't know. Where'd it go? I uh, can't, you know, I, okay. Uh, uh, no, where'd it go? I don't see this thing. It, sleight of hand, it, gone. <laughs> you know, this thing just disappears in your hand. So, there's the lineup. Little bro, big bro, <laughs> from Vapor Shark. Robert the Arm Vapor. Bye.